The last thing you want to do on the screen after you've created your event and your time and your meet link and added all the information you need to add. The only other thing we need to do here is add guests. And once we do that, we can save this and send out our invites. So I'm going to send this to my pretend student that I made for lots of these purposes. Okay. Once I do that, I can decide, I can mark it as optional. I can open a detailed view. I can delete it. I can add all kinds of people. You can add multiple. If I've got four students who are all going to be quarantined for the next seven days and this applies to all of them or they're absent or when our FFA kids go on a trip or whatever it is, you can add multiple people to this as needed. Then you get to look at these guest permissions and make some decisions. None of them are inherently better than any others, but depends on how you want to use them. Can the guest go in and modify the event? Can they change the time? Can they delete stuff? Can they do any of those things? Can they invite other people? Now, when you click modify event, they can't go invite other people or see the guest list. When that one's off, they could potentially invite other people and see who else is on that call with them. That's totally up to you. If I've got four students that are going to be in on this meet, I'm fine with them knowing that they could all be in the same meet, getting help about the same content in the class this week or that day or whatever it is. I, I don't see a problem with that. I don't know if I want them inviting other people, um, but that is definitely an option. If they have friends that need help with whatever it is too, or their parents want to be in on it or anything like that, if you leave this box check, they will have the ability to invite somebody to invite somebody else to that meet. So that's a decision you get to make. Once you've done that and you've double checked, you got everything else, you're going to appear to save. When you click on save, it's going to ask you this question. Would you like to send invitation emails to Google Calendar guests? From there, you can go back to editing and add something else or another guest or you accidentally click save maybe. You can say don't send, which means they're not going to know that they're invited to this meeting. I don't know why you would do that, but it's an option. Or you can click send. When you click send, it's going to send an email to the people that you've invited. And I'll show you what that looks like in the next video. Here's all the ways that they're going to get to interact with it, but they get invited. And that email is what they're going to respond to and how they're going to be able to get to your Google Meet that's attached to this office hours so that they can participate in it when the time is right. So I'm going to click send. And you'll see on my calendar, I have seven instances of me office hours at 10 o'clock. If this isn't exactly right, or I discover I need to make a modification to it, you can click back on this, click on this pen for edit the event. It's gonna open it all back up, make whatever changes you need to do. If you need to delete this one, maybe you meant for this to start on Wednesday and not on Tuesday, you can delete. And when you click on that trash can, you've got three options there. Just this event, this and following events, or all the events in this series. And that's absolutely up to you and hit cancel because I want all of those for the moment. You can email the guests from right here. You can also get in your options and take this event and publish it other places if you need it on a different calendar so that you can see it some other places. But that's the next and the last piece of that puzzle. Congratulations, you have scheduled an appointment and you've invited people to it and you have the meet link that you need and you've set up your office hours. Hope this was helpful. Stay tuned. The next video, I'll show you what it looks like on the student end. And from there, be glad to answer any questions along the way.